Hey Dunchbags, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and it is time for a review of the album from Eric Taylor, aka Archie, aka Deso. This one is called The Archie Deso Project. Now this review is going to be very different from my typical album reviews, mostly because this is not your typical album release. In fact, the album hasn't even technically released yet, so this is really out of character for me to be reviewing it. But I'm going to make a special exception for The Archie Deso Project just because of the circumstance the album is in right now. Now, The Archie Deso Project was originally announced in November 2015 and slated for, I think it was, a February 2016 release, and basically with every passing month uh, after that point, Archie would push back the album more and more. And because of that, with every passing month, I just had to keep pushing back my review of the album, and it eventually got to the point where I said, you know what, I really just don't care, and I stopped keeping up with it. But then, Archie announced that the project was going to be released January 1st, 2017, and I was actually anxiously awaiting it because I thought, hey, maybe since the release date is so far away now, there's no way he's not going to push the album out. January 1st came, and it still isn't complete, and he hasn't said a word on it. In fact, he hasn't really told fans what's going on with the album in a long time. I think it might have been March or April of last year he said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to push it back this time. Um, and I think that's the last word he's spoken on the album, really hasn't given fans any kind of updates. And it's just honestly kind of heartbreaking when you go on the, uh, the Bandcamp page for this album, looking at different reviews people have given. Um, this guy called The Lonely Bro says, Okay, it seems the date is now January 1st. While it may have practically taken a year to reach this point, I can deal, I suppose. Just make sure you deliver on your promised date this time, Archie. Other than that, I'm digging the two new tracks, whatever. Archie's been dropping track by track tracks off this EP, but songs haven't come out in so long off of this project that I think at this point it's just worth it to assume that the rest of this album is never coming due to the fact that it's literally been a year since its initial release date. I just don't think Archie has completed the music ready for this and I don't think he has a desire to complete it, so instead of just deleting it all together. Um, fans have really, it, it's annoying to fans because people have given their hard-earned money to pre-order this thing. Um, the CDs are absolutely a ridiculous price of $30 and then the vinyls are, or $35 actually, and then the vinyls have gone up to $75 each. This is stuff that people have already pre-ordered, already paid for, and they're not getting their projects. So obviously I can see where the annoyance of that comes from. Myself, I'm not as frustrated that the music hasn't come out yet. I'm just more disappointed in Archie. Um, um, someone that I used to have a lot of respect for. In fact, he did have a Monster Cat release at one point that did end up getting deleted. A lot of you might know the track Famous. That was once a Monster Cat release. They ran into some issues with that, so it did end up getting deleted off their channel. But Archie was a producer that I used to listen to a lot, and although I'm not too into the brony type of stuff, which Archie seems to center his music around, I can definitely say I was a fan. And just as, as a casual fan, the very casual fan that I was of him, I'm just very disappointed to see a producer not following through on his promises, especially to his hardcore fans that have that have spent money on uh, getting this thing that just hasn't come out yet. And I could see it would be kind of cool if Archie was this absolutely astounding producer and he was doing something like Kanye West did even last year uh, with the life of Pablo when he just kept pushing back the release date and things like that, but then it ended up uh, because he was putting massive changes on the album. In this case, it's just Archie, it seems to be just Archie. Archie being completely lazy. Now like I said, it's not like Archie is the most special music producer in the world. I never really have felt like Archie has been putting out the most unique music. Uh, with this project I was actually looking forward to something very different and uh, for the most part we do get that. This sounds very different from both Archie and Deso sounds, something that I didn't expect considering Archie and Deso sounds really aren't that far apart anyway. Really. I'd probably say the only difference between the Archie and Deso aliases is, is that Deso might have a little bit of a harder sound most of the time, but because Archie has heavily so put an emphasis on his Archie alias, um, we've heard a lot of those sounds anyway, so when it was coming to this combined project, I kind of pictured uh, it to have kind of the standard Archie sound. It seems like he's trying to push something a little bit different. This album seems to be a little bit more of an album of experimentation, but within that, it's not like this music is absolutely great. It kind of sounds like the amateur versions of all these different styles that he's going for in this album. We get a lot of different things. We get bro step, we get a little bit of hard style influence, we get festival 
possible trap, we get future house. And although it is exciting to see Archie stepping into all these different directions, I'd like to see Archie kind of expand past that uh, melodic big room house sound that he's been so heavily known for. And he is doing that with this album, but it's like, it's almost like he isn't fitting the concept that he was trying to fill uh, with this album, with the tracks that have released thus far. And the result is really mixed and scattered, not really filling any kind of concept. Now that's not to say there weren't some solid tracks on this album. In fact, there are a few that I found myself going back to over and over again, primarily full control, but there's really just nothing new here. Where's the innovation? And not only that, but you can tell so clearly where Archie gets his influences from with this album. The song My Number One, for example, is a couple years behind its time because it sounds like a lot of the content uh, that Protocol Recordings was pushing out in early 2014, notably uh, Stadium X's Howl at the Moon. Just Hold On sounds like it could be an early Yellow Claw track. And then probably the funniest and most obvious of the bunch is the song Rumors, which in my opinion sounds almost identical to the early 2015 hit by Pep and Rash of the same exact name. You can argue that the vocals are a little bit different, but if you want my opinion on that, I don't think there's much talent in that department either. In fact, I think probably every one of these tracks is using a vocal sample from some kind of pack. I don't know that 100% for sure, but I just have to be guessing considering I know that Full Control, the first track on this album, uh, does use a sample from a vocal pack. And on this album, there are no listed features, so I'd say it's safe to assume all of these are from different vocal packs. If you want more evidence, uh, just check out Full Control uh, by Ray Volpe, as, as well as I think De Tuicas did a version of the song too. Um, among those, actually, surprisingly, Archie and Deso's version of the track is one of my favorites, probably next to Ray Volpe's version. Other than the obvious vocal sampling, one of the things that I really liked about this track was its combination of reggae, dubstep, and hardstyle, something that I didn't see working really well together, but I think it worked out to make an incredibly catchy track, uh, easily my favorite on the album, kind of sad considering this was the first one that dropped uh, back in November. The song Run and Hide has a very rock influence middle section, uh, something that I found really enjoyable, really loved the percussion on that section. Uh, the cu guitar was really cool as well. Well, I uh, really liked how that hits, but once again, there's a very good chance that Archie probably just grabbed this from a sample pack. I don't know uh, if he can play guitar himself or if he got someone else to play that on it. I shouldn't be making false assumptions just in case he did, uh, but I think it's safe to assume that nothing is sacred when it comes to this album just because there's so much blatant sampling all over it. And this isn't the first time he's done that either. People should just come to expect that this is what you're going to get uh, when you listen to Archie's music. And sadly, as a critic, that makes me not enjoy it very much. Like I said, with this album, there's a lot of really solid points. Um, I really like how Archie seems to be expanding into all these different styles. I just don't think they mesh well together at all. You can tell way too clearly where all his influencers are coming from, except uh, with Full Control, I feel like that was the one outlier in terms of I can't really find another artist that I feel like he's really grabbing from um, with this album everything else is just practically stolen <laughs> in cases like this. Even if Eric does decide to drop the rest of this album at some point, which I kind of doubt is going to happen at this point, I'm not going to come back and review this because I can't imagine that the music that he's going to put out in the second half of this album is going to be any better if it ever does come. Um, so for this album, I'm probably feeling a light 2 or a solid 1.5 out of 10, and of course there's no Spotify link for this thing, so I'm just going to link the Bandcamp uh, page for this. Maybe someday people are going to look back at this review after the album finally drops, after God knows how many years it'll take before this thing's actually released. Um, but if you have listened to it so far, if you're a fan of Archie, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. I just don't really understand why anyone would put up with this as a fan, as a casual fan myself. I didn't feel like putting up with it, hence why this review is going out now and not on its release date. I'm just really tired of waiting at this point and I can't see it ever releasing uh, in the future and I don't know what Archie's future as a producer is going to look like but after this album I'd probably say uh, it's pretty dead. Anyway, I'm Landon Remixes, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you later. Peace. Oh, wow, 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 wow.